you know, first fight back, you know, I'm like, all right, I, I've been on the shelf a while, uh, blew my knee out, so um, I need to get back in the swing and cha things, and we're looking at opponents, and there's like, oh, this guy, Tim Bosch, yeah, I saw him fight, he's good. And then there's this other guy, John Jones, he's, uh, he's, Oh, he's like a wrestler, but he's really skinny, he's young, he's green. And I'm like, oh man, no, I could arm bar, leg lock this guy, no problem, man. Look at those wrestlers, he's gonna take me down, I'm gonna submit his ass, yeah. I'll fight that skinny bitch, John Jones. Uh, uh, yeah, probably made the wrong decision on that one. But, dude was good. And you know when you're in there with someone, um, you you could tell like uh i felt like that with leo to machida um i really didn't know much about him when fought him and during the fight like i knew like this fucking guy is good you know after yeah and say, same with john jones when i was in there and yeah after i'd been fighting him that that first round sitting on my stool i'm like this guy is fucking good man he is he's gifted usually with that kind of reach, 85 inch reach, like that kind of length, you lose some of your strength, you know? And he was so hard to get close enough to to hit. So I'm like kind of falling in with my punches, then you'd end up in his clinch and then you're toast, you know, you're getting taken down. And uh, yeah, I just realized that like, that uh, new level of athlete has come along. Yeah. What's your opinion on all the uh, unfortunate stuff that's happened with him due to all the drug test failures? You know what? Like, despite the, the positive cocaine test and the DUI and the crash in a car and and yeah, maybe when you a month out from your fight when you fail the test for cocaine, you're probably not taking your training too serious. That means you're out like probably banging strippers and partying and drinking. So the fact that he did that before his fight and he's still never lost. Like, no one's ever beat him. And you know, and you see what he did to Cormier that last time. Uh, he destroyed him. So he's the best, despite like, the, sorry, me, if I were out partying like that a month before my fight, no fucking way, I'd, like, I wouldn't perform as well. I know, I gotta, like, I gotta do everything right. And, and I still, you know, and still you go out there, do everything right, fight your absolute best, and still come up short. So just the fact that, man, he's able to perform the way he does is, is impressive, man. Do you think uh, he'll be able to pull himself together when, once his latest suspension is through? I think so. I mean, he, he's always, in, uh, he performs in there. He gets in there, and when he has a bad night, he still wins every round. Like OSP, fought OSP, who was ranked fifth at the time, won every round. Like, almost had him, uh, OSP saved by the bell, like, once or twice, but like, won every round, won like a 50 to 43 decision. Just like, you know, complete domination. And, uh, yeah, don't really feel like I performed well, you know, felt in slow motion in there, like, and, and well, still won every round. So when he's on, man, um, I think the guy, the, the, if anyone's got a chance, it's Gustafson. So he gave him his closest fight yet, and which sucks is before that, I he'd say I was his toughest fight, which was kind of flattering. Yeah.